Come, walk with me. I kind of want to talk about the least of my people. You know, every year around this time, I always got to try real hard to not smack upside the head all these hypocrites, snakes, and vipers who call undocumented U.S. workers illegals. like getting angry, but this shit makes me want to flip a table. Illegals is a racist, dehumanizing, otherizing term. It's designed to make other people appear less than human, so you won't feel bad when you treat them inhumanely. It's a really shitty now. Ask yourself this, when's the last time Fox News called any other kind of lawbreaker an illegal? If you do 56 in a 55 zone, aren't you an illegal too? Huh? Come on. Now, you wouldn't know it from watching Tucker, but the majority of undocumented immigrants in this country are people who overstayed their visas. However, every night on Fox, he who tucks in his brood of vipers say illegals, and they're always referring to brown people crossing a border. Here's a dirty secret. Politicians could end undocumented immigration tomorrow if they wanted by locking up the white people who do all the hiring. This is supply and demand economics, my friends. There's a gigantic help wanted sign at our southern border, and there's no wall you can ever build that'll be big enough to hide it. And politicians of both parties are in no rush to take down the help wanted sign. Rich people pay Fox people to make working people blame poor people. Now here's 10 facts about illegal people. Number one, undocumented immigrants commit crimes at a much lower rate than US born citizens. Why? Fear of deportation. So imagine if we could do that to homegrown criminals. Number two, undocumented immigrants pay state, local, and sales tax over 400 billion in 2017 alone. Those guys standing outside Home Depot looking for day labor work, they're not the ones who outsource your job to China. By the way, racist idiots, there are no national politicians currently calling for open borders or amnesty. Anyone who tells you there are is lying, or as I like to call it, bearing false witness. You know who did call for that? Ronald Reagan, that's right, the star of all your right-wing porn fantasies. St. Ronnie gave amnesty to millions of undocumented people and claimed that open borders allows them to just go home when they're done working here. But don't feel bad, you racist douchebags. Reagan still supported apartheid. You ever notice whenever they raid one of these meatpacking plants down south and they arrest several hundred illegal workers, they're a lot slower to arrest the guys in the back room who did the hiring who are counting all the cash. And that is all the proof you need to know that the illegal immigration scare is regressive gaslighting bullshit. Donald Trump hires undocumented labor. Going back to the 80s, it was Polish workers who built Trump Tower, but they never got called illegals because they're white. Even as president, Trump continued to employ undocumented workers. He's now done it in two different centuries, all to avoid paying American workers a living wage. You are being suckered by millionaire at birth hypocrites. Does it physically hurt to be this freaking gullible? Oh, let's talk about the wall. Um, you morons understand that they were never actually going to build a physical medieval wall for thousands of miles stretching across deserts and rivers and forests and private and commercial properties and seizing land from American citizens using eminent domain law, right? You understand that was a scam? It wasn't going to get finished. Mexico was never going to pay for it. And even if they had twits, ladders and shovels are things. They looted the military for a scam. Steve Bannon was ripping people off and Trump pardoned him for it and they are both now wagging their tiny junk at you. And that's not a pretty sight. The majority of American voters rejected Donald Trump's immigration agenda in 2016. The majority rejected it again in 2020, but he still has a chance to be the first man to lose the popular vote three times. <laughs> I alone can do it. <laughs> what a dick. So remember, MAGA dudes, one of these days, you're going to stand before St. Peter. And on that day, you will discover what extreme vetting really fucking means. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, forgive me, I should have said at the top of the video, I'm only dressed in the tunic because it's laundry day and I had nothing else to wear. Oh, and I'm only wearing the fake beard to hide my rosacea. So that's, that's... Oh, you thought I was trying to look like him? Dude, I look nothing like him. 
I'm white. 